What is up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here. Happy New Year's to the Pack Nation. Now, today's video, I wanted to talk about next generation. Now that we are coming into 2020, I wanted to talk about what 2020 brings, and that is the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, which is a brand new Xbox or the fourth Xbox. Either way, we're getting a new generation of consoles, and this is exciting for me. If you know, I've talked about this before. This makes me so like giddy like i love the new generation whenever it comes out and i wanted to talk about how that pertains to 2k we've had a lot of announcements so far for the past couple months and i wanted to talk about those big announcements and how they're going to pertain to the next generation of nba 2k so nba 2k 21 in a top five format before this video starts if you're one of the 75 percent of viewers who watch these videos and is not subscribed don't be lame in 2020 be an og join the pack nation and subscribe let's get this video started at number five with the release date uh, this is basically the most simple one the release date is expected to be holiday 2020 or at least that is what it's been announced for both the xbox series x and the playstation 5. what i think about this is it's basically saying december probably around christmas so think about one year from now this is where we're more or less going to be getting the brand new generation of games that means that nba 2k 21 should be coming out about the same time now as you know 2k games usually come out early september so what I think they're going to do is what they're going to do the same thing with last generation, which is they're going to release NBA 2K21 for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One X. And then they're going to release it again in next generation format in holiday season, probably like Christmas time, is what it's going to look like to be. That is for sure. So expect it to come out twice in next year, twice in 21 one time in september another time for the new generation in christmas time at number four it is the controller we've already seen xbox's brand new controller which basically changed nothing besides the d-pad but the rumble feature this is the brand new thing that apparently playstation has been doing and xbox has been doing and that is the rumble feature on the controller and how it's going to pertain to 2k so here's the thing when it comes to the rumble on the controller usually you get a rumble throughout the entire controller or in Xbox case, you can feel vibrations in the triggers. From now on, what they're saying is that you can get a vibration in the entire controller in any specific part. Let's say you get blocked from your left hand, the left part of your controller will vibrate. Let's say you post to someone, maybe the whole controller vibrates like really aggressively. Maybe you have like a couple dribble moves, you can feel the ball dribble around the controller, things like that. These are completely possible things. They can do a lot of things with this. Maybe when it's like an intense situation, the controller will va wave vibrate instead of just pounding. Things like that, like stamina wise, you can like start to feel the controller like vibrate just a little bit when you get too tired. It can do really cool things with that. And I'm excited about that too. Plus the microphone on the controller is gonna be a little louder. And then of course the PlayStation, there is a rumor or at least it's expected to have a screen on the controller. Now I don't want to talk about rumors because we that's not confirmed, right? But they don't want to do the motion pad anymore. They're thinking it's going to be a screen. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the route they go, but that's totally possible. If they do that, you can make substitutions on that screen. In park, maybe you can change the camera just on the screen. Maybe you can jump, change your jump shot on the fly. Let's say you're like I'm mad about your jump shot. Go to the screen on your controller, change your jump shot. Anything. Or maybe even change your matchups, which would be awesome if you could do things like that. That'd be, that'd be great. At number three, it is backwards compatibility. So first off, PlayStation has already announced that they're going to have 100% backwards compatibility and so does Xbox for all games from the first generation to the current generation. All of it is going to be backwards compatible. Now this is important to 2K because this is what I think. Let's say you buy NBA 2K21 for the PlayStation 4 and you, you max out your player, you get into a 99, but then the PlayStation 5 comes out, which of course you're going to get, and 2K21 also comes out on PlayStation 5, and it's going to be a completely new game because it's next generation. So, of course, you're going to buy that too. What do you do? Do you have to restart your player all over again? Back when the PS4 came out, that's exactly what you had to do, I believe, for NBA 2K14 or 15. If I had to do that, that's ridiculous. Hopefully, if that's backwards compatibility and you can connect your accounts, it'll already notice that you played 2K21 and you can bring your overall into the new 2k and you won't have any problems you won't have to do it all over again hopefully knowing 2k that's an opportunity for them to make more money so why would they but we'll have to wait and see what happens there now at number two it is the ssd now that means that there is significantly faster loading screens for nba 2k 21. one of the most frustrating things is loading into a park for example in 2k like man that is the most frustrating takes half an hour just to get into a park no more of this too many loading screens too many waiting enough enough is enough in the future for playstation 5 and xbox series x there's going to be 40 times faster loading screens and that's confirmed that's like that's a fact 
So that means that loading into a park, instead of taking, let's say a minute, could take a second, maybe two seconds. That's a big change. Imagine loading up 2K, going to the My Career, loading into My Career, and then loading into a park could take five minutes. In the next generation, that's what? Maybe like five, six seconds? That's a complete change of pace and that really makes it feel like we're in a new generation. And that means they can make the park even more detailed without having any frame drops. That's exciting for me. And finally, at number one, the one thing that is the most exciting thing about the next generation for 2K is graphics. So the PS4 Pro already runs 4K and it can do 60 frames per second, but this is native 4K. It is not true 4K. So it is already expected that the Xbox and the PS4 is gonna be 4K that can support 8K with 120 frames per second. That is more than double of what we can see now in 2K. Think about the graphical changes it is, when you already look at 2K and you go, man, like, I don't know how much more realistic it can be. Bro, it's going to get stupid. When it comes to 8K and graphics and, and video games, I don't know if it can get better than that. Like, it's going to be that insane. I think we're going to be the, the, the pinnacle of, of gaming. Do you remember when all those LeBron next-gen pictures are coming out and people are like, whoa, that's insane? That's going to happen again. And then not only that, they're going to have ray tracing. So again, all these things... Uh, graphically at least are completely out of this world there's so many things that i could talk about with this new generation but again it, we still have a little while way to go so obviously i'm not going to rush it too much i just wanted to bring this out and, and talk about it for a little bit because i'm so i'm just so excited about this new generation and hopefully you guys are too what do you guys think what are you most excited about for the new generation for nba 2k20 leave it in the comments below and if you like my channel give it a sub and i'll see you guys next time.